<clears throat> I took a trip to Vietnam. I was in a choir. We went on a tour, and Vietnam was the place we went to. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we got on the plane to Vietnam, and there was still first class seating. And I was like, but you're communists. This was your thing. I thought it was going to be a communist plane, you know? Everyone has equal seating, copies of Das Kapital in the seat pockets. Your neighbors listen to your conversations to snitch on you to the government. Maybe we run out of food and half of us starve. You know, a real communist plane. But it wasn't. Because Vietnam is actually not as communist of a country as you would think it was. When I got there, I ate at nicer restaurants than everybody else. Stayed at nicer hotels. I got a rickshaw ride through Hanoi. You know what a rickshaw is? It's a horse-drawn carriage where the horse is a person. <laughs> This tiny little Vietnamese guy had to just lug my giant fat American self around the city. I look like a political cartoon from 1890. I got off and looked in the mirror. I'm like, have I always had this Carnegie Steel tattoo? I don't know. Strange.